Greetings everyone, this is Donna Gilliland with a quick tip for you on how to use images in PowerPoint to create your, your own pictures that you need for projects. It, it will save you money doing this. Now I do want to say before I start with a quick tip that for high-end photographs you may want to purchase your photographs from iStockPhoto.com. There are others as well. That happens to be my personal favorite. But quite often, the images that I need for, for small-scale projects, I can actually get from the PowerPoint library. But sometimes the image I want doesn't contain all the visual elements within it that I'd like to have. So what I do there is to pick multiple images and combine them into a collage and then save that as a picture that I could then reuse. For example, today I need to post on my Facebook site a post that says, come pre-post your questions before today's webinar. And I want to have a sign that says, come in, we're open, and then have the question mark. Well, I couldn't find an image in the clip art library that would have the question mark in it. So what I've done is uh, through the insert tab, clip art, of course, I found the photographs I wanted. I have two different photographs here. And to group them and retain them as an image, you're just a few right clicks away. So let's get started. The question mark is an image of its own. I have clicked it. Clicked it. Now, any other images that I want to group with the question mark, you can hold down the control key and click to select those. After you get everything selected, then you can right click one of those selected images and choose save as, uh, excuse me, we want to group it and then we'll save it as picture. And let me back up for just a moment and say this. The process of you selecting the images with control click, once you're through doing that, they actually are grouped and you could then save them as a picture. What I want you to know about it is this. If I don't take this step of group, then what happens is that if you accidentally clicked one of those images, it will, it will result in unselecting everything, which means that they're not grouped anymore. So the going this extra step of group means that they'll all become one, and even if you did accidentally click on one of the images, it would not result in ungrouping. So that's why you want to take this extra step. So quickly, by way of review, before I go further, all I did was right-click the selected imagery, imagery and chose group. And now I'm choosing group over on the right. And then look, see, they're all in one container. Now, no matter where I click, it still will retain that grouping. Now I'm ready to save this as a picture that I can reuse. And again, you're just a right-click away. So having right-clicked here in the image, choose Save as Picture. PowerPoint will default to the PNG file type but you can change it. First, let me give it a name, and I'm going to call this one Open for Questions. Then, down below, you can change the, uh, the file type. I'm changing mine to a JPEG, and now I'm ready to click Save. And this one already exists. I'm just going to replace it. There we go. So now I have one picture that I can upload in my PowerPoint, upload on my Facebook postings, wherever. This one, of course, what you're looking at isn't high-end photography, but what I need it for isn't high-end, and it works, although PowerPoint uh, clip art actually does have some very good-looking digital photographs. You might want to peruse through their library sometime. So that's my tip for you. And in closing, just want to say that I would love to connect with you, and feel free to come over to my website where I do have a blog with lots of great tips and tricks. Please join me on Facebook if you like, and I'm also on Twitter. So I hope to see you one of those places, and I hope that you found this tip helpful. It's bye for now. Have a great day.